Game two of the Western Conference Finals on Tuesday. San Antonio hosting Memphis. Zach Randolph of the Grizzlies. Just two points in game one on one of eight shooting, and he came out struggling early on in game two. He misses there. Tiago Splitter on the other end. Nice feed from Tony Parker. Zebo made only one of his first six shots. Spurs getting on the break. It's Parker leading the charge once again. Look at him. Out of control. No worries. Finds the glass in traffic. The opposition the impressed. So Mike, Mike learning from you. Fun little moment right there in an intense playoff battle. Late first quarter, Marcus Gasol staying at it, and that ball finds a way to drop in for the Grizzlies. Tony Parker back to it on the drive. Gasol with the block. Look at him. Get the tip of his finger on it. Just 15 to 13 San Antonio after the first quarter. In the second, Parker finds Tim Duncan using the window. Plus the foul, Zach Randolph. None too happy the way things have gone for him early on in this series. Still in the second, Gary Neal knocks down the jumper as he is called for the foul. Mike Conley is, but on the replay, Conley never made contact with Neal. Spurs moving the ball around. They hit 14 three-pointers in game one, a franchise playoff high. And they come back with a couple of more in game two. Nine of 25, Danny Green had four of them. Kawhi Leonard knocking one down, part of a 15 to three Spurs run. Grizzlies, meanwhile, can't buy a bucket. Zebo working hard down low, but nothing going right for him. Duncan corrals the loose ball and gets called for the foul. Look at this one. Frantic play underneath the basket. The Grizzlies, you can't fault them for a lack of effort. That's certainly not the problem. But seemingly a lid on the top of that rim. Memphis missed the last 14 field goal attempts of the second quarter. San Antonio led 46-31 at halftime. In the third, more from Danny Green. Four threes on the night for him. 59-41, the largest lead for the Spurs. Conley coming right back on the offensive. Tied for a game high in this one with 18 points. Parker, meanwhile, finding Tiago Splitter again. Parker, a career high. That includes the regular season. A career high, 18 assists for Parker in this one. Tony Allen called for the offensive foul on the spin move. As Manu took it tough right there. And Allen and the rest of the Grizzlies, including Coach Lionel Hollins, frustrated once again. In the third still, Parker with the jumper. He had 15 points, all five Spurs starters in double figures. They led by 12 entering the fourth quarter. But here come the road team Grizzlies. Quincy Pondexter rising up for the slam. Look at him go baseline. It's an eight point contest, now a seven point game. There's Randolph getting the basket and the foul. He ended up with 15 points, 18 rebounds in this one as the Grizzlies out rebounded the Spurs by 14. Manu grabbing hold of Tony Allen's arm on the break and he would be called for the flagrant foul. Look at that one. Certainly didn't look like any intent was there, but excessive contact results in the flagrant foul. It's a two point game all of a sudden. Mike Conley with the right hand. The floater is good in the lane. Part of a 15 to two Memphis run to tie it at 85, 3.3 to go and the Spurs that's not the best shot that they could have gotten. Tim Duncan way off, and we head to overtime as the Memphis Grizzlies overcome an 18-point deficit. In the extra frame, Tim Duncan atoning for the miss at the end of regulation. He went to work in OT. Good ball fake there, gets Marc Gasol up in the air. Good bounce on the home rim for Duncan. That one's good. He finished with 17 points, nine rebounds, six points in overtime. 21 to go, Jared Bayless. Knocks down the long jumper. He had 18 off the bench. It's 91-89 Spurs after Tony Parker makes one of two free throws. Bayless going to the well one more time, and that one was way off the mark. Got an open look, but couldn't come close to making it. Lionel Hollins, oh, he wanted something better. Looked like he drew up a decent play. The results were not there. 93-89 Spurs go on to win it. They take a 2-0 series lead. Game three, Saturday in Memphis.